नमस्ते रमेश भाई जय श्रीमत नमस्ते जी नमस्ते नमस्ते शंकर जी नमस्ते भाया नमस्ते सर दिस इज अ फोटो ऑफ श्रीमात जी एज श्री शैलपुत्री दिस पूजा वॉज डन इन दिलेज ऑफ नाडी इन हिमाचल प्रदेश इन नाइनटीन एटी फाइव and uh my husband uh, who's here for the first time for this interview thank you very much who shrimati ji married us um so he's here and with his dear friend uh, uh sir ramesh chand who is the headmaster of uh, the village uh, primary school in burnet um and he was a uh, a young boy uh, at at what was the beginning of uh, international sahaj public school at that point uh, so um, ramesh bhai if i could please request you to uh, talk us uh, talk to us about your memory of shrimati ji in her you know in this photo where she is wearing this garland with the arms and armaments of shri shelputri mm -hmm. oh yeah i can remember i mean i was like i was 6 years old boy and i was also in the school where uh, sahaj yogis or i don't know, i don't know exactly or yogi mahajan ji started that school in dal lake which was a small school uh, started in a one room or two rooms maybe two three rooms not more than that i can remember and i was just enrolled in that school and uh, during those days i remember uh, shri mata ji uh came to this place and uh, it was it was uh, it was like spring time i think i uh, yeah i guess it was spring time and uh, shri mata ji when we heard that uh, shri mata ji is going to uh, is is coming here in nadi or especially in the car uh, in talnu where uh, where uh, yogi mahajan his place was actually i it, it it was his place actually still it is i think it is yes and, the yeah, cottage and and and, and we, we 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 all got excited and all the all the young 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 children of the the village uh, not only the young ones everyone i think the old people yes. the young ones, we we all gathered there in the cottage and uh, we we actually i think we waited uh, shri mata ji for, for for one hour and then when she arrived and we, you know it was kind of a new thing for the whole villagers <clears throat> since it was a remote village during those days yeah we haven't uh, i mean uh, i mean there was a very little contact of the locals with the uh, people from outside uh -huh. so and and since Uh, you know uh, on those days people were <clears throat> still i think in nadi people are still uh, uh believe in god and i mean i mean kind of uh, we we have a lots of faith in god and goddesses yes since uh, if you are in himachal it yes. is called devbhumi means uh, land, land of god. god and goddesses so still we have some this thing in our mind and yes. uh, and, and it was i don't know we were not uh, i don't know why people gathered there but we, we were totally unaware of uh, these kind of things and but when when we heard all this uh, we all got excited i can remember being a young young person a young young man young child I, mean, i was also excited yeah. to see shri mata ji and yeah. i have i've seen lots of lots of uh, not people from not only this this village but from other surrounding places i mean there was a huge uh, rush i have never seen such a great number of people on those days in a, one place wow. so we all were very excited and uh, we, we were in the front row because we were the student of that uh, that school which was run by i don't know it was whether it was run by yogi ji or sahaj yoga yeah. probably it was run by yogi ji and since he was as yogi so so that's why i think shri mata ji came there i don't know exactly what why but yes. uh, when we saw shri mata ji coming it was uh, it was 
we got fast we we all got very fascinated and we all were very surprised to see us and we have never seen such a person yes a, a, a person with uh, a, a lady with the you know kind of uh, brightness uh, on her face and i mean when you know the whole aura was looking very different to us yes. very charming very attractive i mean yes. i have never seen such a person Yes. Uh, in my whole life, so yes. this is what I I can remember. And then the 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 girls of the village they prepared special garlands for the Masri Mataji's yes. uh, from the flowers. So the garland that she is wearing here. Yeah, yeah. Tell us uh, please something the flowers about it. Which, because... uh, she's wearing in the in the uh, in this photo. They they were prepared actually. Uh, the garlands were prepared by the local girls and even my. Elder sister was also involved in that, doing yeah. this thing. So yeah, it was quite a kind of a event for us, since we we were not uh, sahaj yogis and all, all yes. but yes. Uh, it fascinated us and uh, it was quite amazing. And uh, we, I mean, I can remember that everyone we were very happy on those days on that the day. Thrill of seeing Sri Mataji. Yes. Wow. Yes. Uh, very, very nice to hear that, uh, you know, you were there as a young boy, five, six yeah. years, uh, you know, seeing Sri Mataji as the Adi Shakti. Um, now, the cottage that where this puja happened has been very nicely uh, kept and, uh, you know, as a sort of a museum, as a tribute to Sri Mataji. So the, the sari that she wore, the sari that's here, the bangles. Uh -huh. The ornaments are on display because they emit uh, vibrations or the positive uh -huh. energy. Um, and, and, and for Sahajyogis like us, uh, we go from the world over to just, just meditate and feel the joy of being in the Himalayas yes. and the lap of Himalayas, where you are so fortunate that you, you're yeah. born there, you're living Thank there, you. and it's like swimming in uh -huh. vibrations, actually. And, and you have that uh, faith. Uh, in God Almighty, of course. Um, so um, when we were looking at these things, and this is where I'd like uh, my husband Shankarji to, you remember when we saw the bangles that Shamataji is wearing, they were really quite small bangles. They're still in the museum on display. And the size of the bangles was very small. Um, you had a question about it? Uh, oh, uh, An incident to recollect? Well, <clears throat> Well, I, of course, I wasn't there uh, uh. in 1985. I was <laughs> um, leading quite a decadent life at university <laughs> back here in England. And, um, of course, I I hadn't uh, found Shimachi then or got my uh, self-realisation with my kundalini being awoken. But, um, yeah, 1985. But... Um, I, I I don't quote me on this, but um, my understanding is that the Sad Yogis, uh, after the puja to Shamataji, as Sri Shaila Putri, the uh, the daughter of the Himalayas, um, uh, that Shamataji appeared very uh, sort of small, like a small girl, young girl, young girl. And I think from what I'd heard, so the side yogis that were present uh, asked Shamataji or, or, or why why, or you were appearing so small. And I, and I think her reply was something along the lines that, well, um, in the Himalayas, which which were, would be would have been behind her, because if you step out of that cottage, you, there is the Dolada. Himalayan range, uh, something so that of it. They, they, it said something that the in those Himalayas, uh, she commented that there were um, there were yogis, okay, there were yogis, there were saints and yogis, and that um, their their state of evolution was was so high that they themselves were able to absorb. Shamataji's vibrations uh, that that she emitted during the puja, because when one does puja to 
um, a highly evolved being, uh, or be it an incarnation, um, uh, that 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 being that that or be it that incarnation uh, emits uh, vibrations because uh, the, the chakras, the subtle system of that being, are are um, the deities sitting on the chakras They're of, of Shamachiji were were delighted and happy and pleased at human beings doing puja to her. So so then. Uh, her her deities became excited and and as such her physical being and subtle being emitted vibrations and then something she said something like the yogis in the in the mountains in the himalayas uh was were deep enough in their meditation to absorb to suck her vibrations oh. better than her own devotees the sad yogis that were sitting in front of her and uh, and presumably around the world, I don't think there would have been many Sajogis then in 1985. But um, that uh, yeah, and that's why she appeared small because the vibrations had been her vibrations had been absorbed by these highly evolved yogis in the Himalayas behind her there. So mm -hmm. it's quite quite fascinating to um, to hear. And I remember Ramesh by when. Um, it might have been on my last visit to you and uh, International Sahaja Yoga Public School, which is next door to that cottage, oh. that traditional Himacheli structure, um, a, a lovely building. Um, it might be my last visit there. Uh, and, and when I saw you, we, you and I, we went into oh. the cottage and we walked round. We uh -huh. saw... Uh, the the um, I mean, really, when you go inside, it's like a mandir. It's a temple, okay. isn't it? And we yeah. saw um, uh, Shamatiji's uh, throne and 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 the photograph of her as Sri Shaiva Putri. This photograph there displayed, and then and then um, I kind of left you for a while, and then you started to walk around the <laughs> sort of exhibition. Yeah part yes, yes. of the building and you were looking at these this photograph and other photographs of, from different angles yes, and yes. when I rejoined you I, I remember you saying yes yeah. I remember this now <laughs> yeah. so just go back to you now Ramesh um, it may be that would jog your memory a little more about you being a student at Shamatiji school and yeah the puja and uh, have you uh, any more to to tell us from memory yeah you know when when we uh, when you you took me uh, to that exhibition hall and it wasn't in my mind i mean uh, that uh, th that the photos will be of that time or of that puja uh, where i was also uh, in the part of uh, that that program it wasn't in my mind but when I uh, saw Sri Mataji's images and uh, few of the images I couldn't recognize, but, but when I saw uh, this image and few others, and and especially uh, this these garlands, and I I I, I, certain, I certainly realized that you know the, this is uh, this this has happened here. I mean, it wasn't uh, it wasn't in my mind before this. I mean, you know, Sri Mataji maybe probably. <laughs> this is the exhibition of uh, maybe I've heard that they used to visit uh, the foreign countries as well. So probably mm -hmm. in my mind that there will be images of that those places or maybe. But but when I saw this and it certainly stuck uh, clicked in my mind that oh wow. it is uh, of that those days and then I realized and you know one thing is there in this image. Which you pointed out that Sri Mataji is looking uh, smaller in the image, and uh, when you uh, when you explain this, I can you you know I can remember that when Sri Mataji arrived in public, she was looking huge actually, uh, because I was a little boy, so probably 
it yeah. is in my mind that uh, a lady wearing white sari uh, and and it was uh, she was uh, bigger than the others i mean yes. for me i can still Im imagine I, and it is still going on my vision that i have seen that but if you see this image it is certainly looking small mm. yeah uh, Mm. When you explain this, I mean, it is certainly looking small. And if 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 I make the comparison, it looked me probably. Yeah. It looked me probably. Uh, you're saying the right thing. I mean, yeah. I, yeah. I can imagine this. But when I saw Sri Mataji sitting on that chair, uh, that time it wasn't in my mind, actually. Okay. Okay. Uh -huh. <laughs> as, a, <laughs> as a little boy, you cannot yeah. recognize all these yes. things. Yeah. yeah. Of course. Yeah. Tell yeah. us something about the uh, your time in that school when it was um it was there in uh, Dull Lake, was it? I'm yeah. going to it, yeah. stop yeah. sharing the screen now. Yeah, it was uh, it was uh, uh I mean I got uh, admitted in that school along with my few friends and uh, I was a good student actually. Yes. <laughs> uh, I thought you might be naughty uh, boy. Uh, what happened? Uh, you know, uh, I I went there uh, for a uh, few months, like four or five months, maybe. I I'm not sure. More than six months, maybe. And then there was uh, actually a little hike in the fee, school fee. Yes. So my grandmother went to uh, Yogi Mahajanji. And she, uh, she told all the things that we cannot pay this. Um, I, 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 I don't know how much it was, but it yes. was 10, 20 rupees probably. So then, then uh, Yogi Ji maybe uh, suggested her. So you, you, you should, you can enroll him in a, uh, in a government school. So I went there, but uh, meanwhile, uh, when, uh, until I was there, I have uh, joined few puja sessions uh, in the cottage uh, yes. probably maybe they were organized by either deepa mahajan i don't know his wife or yes. once i have joined his session also wow but but, but you know in that uh, puja session it was like we have to do aarti and all aarti and mm. few I, I, I i'm not uh, <laughs> I remember Arthi and a few things. Yeah. What is, was the school session like? Because um... yeah, it was uh, ten to three. I think I, uh, uh -huh. our session. Uh, it's uh, maybe I don't know. Maybe yeah, as happens in Himachal, uh, maybe from April to March, maybe. But I was uh -huh. not there for full session. So yeah. <laughs> and since I was very young, so I, I I'm not. <laughs> Yeah, but of course. I remember that uh, one of the teacher. Yes. When uh, when they realized that uh, he's going to another school, they asked me, "Don't go. Yeah, yeah, we we will not let you go." But wow. I was a little less. <laughs> and uh, yeah. uh, I remember one of the foreigner uh, teacher. A foreigner um, teacher was there. She came uh, for 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 few days, but all the boys and. You know, there was a communication gap, so we, we gave her tough time. <laughs> so <laughs> I remember poor uh, that lady. <laughs> but, you know, uh, uh, our teachers were the Indians. They used yeah. to scold us sometimes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They used to slap yeah. here and there, but that lady never did it. So because <laughs> I think it, it's not in in those <laughs> in their school. So, but so we gave her tough time. <laughs> Especially <laughs> when, when, they, when she took us to Dal Lake. Mm -hmm. uh, and and uh, if she manages one group, then another group is going that side. So okay. this was my <laughs> this is in my memory. So she uh, probably <laughs> we have given her <laughs> tough uh. time. So this is this is what I have to say. But but I think uh, that was a nice school. Your first school is always a nice one. <laughs> so yeah, yeah, yeah. That was nice for were, me. Were there any Western pupils there? Sorry? Were there any Western children there when you were there? On those days, no, 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 no one. No. No one. It uh, was started with the locals, actually. Acha, uh, cha. Yeah. Um, and um, 
as you know, uh, Sushmita Didi and I uh, lived and worked at the, the current uh, ISPS, International Science Public School, in a much, oh. much, much bigger campus, yes. Um, yes. just tucked round, um, round the side of the mountain that Nadi Village is on, just round from Nadi Village bus stop. That very uh -huh. and, and right next to the cottage. Um, uh -huh. Do you have any memories of when and about that that bigger campus being constructed and seeing uh, Western children? Uh, maybe you might even have known some of the Indian teachers at that new uh, campus. Do you remember much about that? Yeah, I mean. Uh... After Dull Lake, they started building uh, the school, I think, in the 90s or, yeah. Yes. Maybe in early 90s, they have started that construction. And uh, even uh, a few of the teachers who were uh, in that school, uh, they, they continued there in, in, the, in the new school. Okay. So I knew a few of them also. They are retired now, I think. I, have, yes. I haven't seen Must them be. now. Quite a while now. I, yeah, they are retired now, and uh, I have seen uh, the school. Uh, I mean, when this, I can, uh, I can say when they started the school, and oh, I mean, there were once there were like uh, three, four hundred uh, students, and most of them they were the f uh, foreign countries from either from Europe, Australia, okay. from all over the world, and probably yeah. they, they they all are the deputies of uh, Sri Mataji. Yes. Yeah. Yes, that's the prerequisite for yeah, the school that. Yeah. Uh, and um, mm. and and if you uh, you know since I am in a uh, teaching profession and I am working in a government school, so I can say, uh, probably this is the best school in in Dharamshala. Wow, uh, oh, yes. so I can say so. If if someone wants uh, to to send their kids there, so yeah, yeah, I mean, yes. it's yeah. it's the best one. I mean, no doubt. Yeah. They have totally uh, agree. Yeah, and, they looks after the children uh, very well. Uh, this I can say. I mean, since I've been watching this for all those years. Yes. So, uh, so it's it's not out. It's the best still the best school in in Dharamshala or in yeah in in, in our district. Mm, so because your one. your school, of which you are the headmaster, is uh, uh quite lower down. The, yes. The same mountain. Um. Past um, Strawberry, past Strawberry, in in the village uh -huh. of Barnett, isn't it? Uh -huh. Yeah, and yes. You are the head teacher of uh, of the primary yes. school of the village. Yeah, yeah, yes. yes. Uh, we've been uh, we've been very lucky to have been able visited, to visit yeah. uh, uh -huh. a few times now, actually, <laughs> even with your auntie and uncle. Yes, uh, in twenty fourteen, yes. wasn't it? Yes. Yeah. Yes. And um, and, and and you said that 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 that. ISPS is arguably the, the best school in in that area of Dhamshala. Yeah. Um, yeah, among the best, how, you can say. Uh, how, yeah. how, how do the villagers, the Nadi, the Nadi villagers, uh, how do they view yeah. um, the school, ISPS, and the cottage? How do they, I know they hold uh, Yogi Mahajanji in very high regard. Yes. Because it yeah. was Yogi you know, that donated. You know, the villagers that. they have uh, lots of respects towards this family, Yogi Mahajan ah. and his family. Ah. Uh, we we respect all the villagers respect uh, uh -huh. this family, the whole family actually. Mm. Um, and uh, if you talk about school, uh, locals are uh, locals cannot enroll their children because of. Uh, you know, it's it's a little expensive for the locals. It is, yeah, yeah. But still, uh, local uh, locals are happy with 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 their uh, in, with this institution because you know most of the locals um, they are getting employed there. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, from from that place. Yeah. This 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 could be the one reason also. Yeah. And the the meditation center. Uh, I have seen uh, uh, people uh, go there to meditate, mm. and if uh, one joins that that center for months or so, fifteen days, I mean you can see the changes. I mean you know, 
uh, in the mountains uh, people are mostly people are habitual of smoking and drinking and and yeah. this is for they prohibit yeah. it is prohibited over there so yeah. this is this, i respect them uh, this institution because of this also because you know if you are, there, you are, you are, you are if you are following them then you are away from this this thing and Twice. which is good one yeah and i think uh we we should have these kind of institutions <laughs> yes. we are so wow, I mean, you know right. to see that save people go. from i just these remembered evil uh, that uh, your youngest sister sapna uh -huh. uh, she she went to this meditation center at the cottage yes. and she meditates really? as well yes really? yes yes because wow when we celebrated our daughter's birthday at your place when wow. we were in covid she was telling me about it I, so i didn't know that yeah it's amazing. yeah i i mean because <clears throat> didi and i as i said we lived and worked there for four years um it was a huge blessing for us i mean for me as well a westerner you know <clears throat> ignorant of um of the of the blissful environment although at the same time very harsh environment yeah. of of that dola da range and nadi village and damshala I, I remember the torrential monsoonal rain yes. the mm -hmm. the bitter cold yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, uh, with some snowfall and generally for a westerner going and living there for four years it was pretty tough um and yeah at the same time i i could feel the the divinity mm. of the himalayas and that particular place and um my limited understanding of it is that it's the the, the talnu yes the, the village is called talnu, talnu isn't it? which nice. my understanding is the brahmarandra the soft spot of the font uh -huh bone area when one was a child baby yeah both. which later calcifies with the formation of the ego and our conditions our habits and to be there for, as a westerner for four years really bathed in these divine vibrations of the, the himalaya and being able to meditate there uh it really boosted my spiritual ascent uh in in this life i mean i'm not not that i've got very high anyway um uh, but um yeah it's great we used to go and cut wood yeah. in the jungle uh yeah. uh I, I, we brought our dogs over from england to yeah. be there yeah. um yeah. i had the good blessing of being able to teach english language and english literature um and my children our children were there yeah. vinay yeah. our son was there for 10 years and should I be 12 years and of course we it gave us this wonderful opportunity to get to know some of the Nadi village people uh -huh. Uh -huh. yourself and your good wife Lakshmi yes. included and the girls uh -huh. and um, Sakshi to have that and the insight whole of how the guddy guddy yes. guddy people are mm -hmm. uh, very warm very hospitable very loving very accommodating uh -huh. uh, and and all set against this quite quite harsh mountain backdrop uh -huh. um you know i mean in, in for indians to go to the himalayas is like a, a pilgrimage yeah, it is uh, and and yeah. and and some sannyasis who renounce household life go there to perform tapas and penance to uh -huh. to please god or, or the Hindus would would say Sri Shiva. Yeah, it's a wonderful place, and um, um, and it was so good to it's so good to know you, and Thank to you. listen to your memories. Yes. I think. Uh -huh. um, are you going to show a clip of yes. of Shamatji at yeah. Dal Lake? Yes, so I'll just share yeah. this video um, of uh, yeah. Shamatji, which was in a public program that she gave to the the people of Nadi Talnu village and the thereabouts mm. in 1985 so I'll yeah. share it, it, yeah I don't know if you yeah she did hear this
The you can see the pine in the background. Yeah. Yeah. This is the welcome song for Srimadha Ji. Uh -huh. Welcome Srimadha Ji. She is coming to the venue.
आपको कुछ बोलेंगे ना आपको कुछ बोलिएगा ना सुनाई दे रहा है
धर्मशाला के भक्तों को मंदिर के घड़ी में मेरा आयोजन किया जिसके लिए मैं बहुत ही खास धन्यवाद के मिश्रण के स्मरण में प्रेम की भावना उड़ाई है कि वो सपनों में ढालना मुश्किल रमेश भाई ये ये ग्रीन वाला बटन तो नहीं बीच में दिख रहा आपको स्क्रीन का यू आर स्क्रीन शेयरिंग श्रीमाता जी की फोटो सही दिख रही है ना हाँ जी ठीक है थैंक यू कोई भी माँ को नहीं मार सकता की पहचान कि माँ को लोग भूल जाते हैं लेकिन अब ऐसा कहना चाहिए कि कल युग का समय दिया है जो लोगो ने माँ को स्वीकार किया है माँ में और गुरु में एक बड़ा भारी अंतर मैंने पाया है कि माँ तो गुरु होती ही है बच्चों को समझाती है लेकिन उसमें प्यार घोल घोल करके इस तरह से समझा देती है कि बच्चा उस प्यार के लिए हर चीज करने को तैयार होता है ये प्यार की शक्ति जो सारे संसार को आज ताजगी दे रही है जो सारे जीवन काम कर रही है जैसे ये पेड़ का होना उनकी हरियाली उसके बाद एक पेड़ में से फूल हो जाना और फूल में से फल हो जाना ये जितने भी कार्य है जो जीवन कार्य है ये कौन करता है ये सब करने वाली जो शक्ति है वो परमात्मा की प्रेम की शक्ति उसी को हम आदि शक्ति कहते हैं परमात्मा तो सिर्फ नजारा देखते हैं कि उनकी शक्ति का कार्य कैसे हो रहा है जब उनको वो कार्य पसंद नहीं आता तो वो आंख फूल लेते हैं और सारा नजारा भी खत्म हो जाता है परवाह तो माँ को करनी पड़ती है कि मेरे बच्चे ठीक से रहे संसार एक बड़ा सुंदर आलिशान ऐसा विशेष रूप का आदर्श हो कि जिसे देखकर परमात्मा संतुष्ट हो जाए ये पूरा प्रयत्न होते रहते हैं लेकिन आप जानते हैं कि हर बार ऐसे प्रयत्न हुए अनेक अवतार इस संसार में आए और अनेक प्रयत्न लेकिन मनुष्य की अकल उठती बैठ जाती कोई बात उसे बताओ नहीं करो तो वो जरूर वही काम करता है अभी आपसे योगी जी ने कहा कि आप शराब मत पीना अगर आप माँ के भक्त लेकिन ऐसा कहने से और ज्यादा ही पीना शुरू कर 
मैंने देखा है कि बच्चों से कोई चीज मना करो तो वो डबल करते हैं कि क्यों मना किया इसीलिए हम करेंगे अहंकार की चीज इसका बेहतर तरीका ये मैंने सोचा कि इनके अंदर ज्योत जला चाहे वो टिमटिमाती क्यों ना हो थोड़ी सी ही ज्योत जल जाएगी तो उस ज्योत के प्रकाश में खुद ही देखेंगे कि हमारे अंदर क्या दोष अगर समझ लीजिए आप हाथ में सांप पकड़े हैं और कोई कहे कि भाई तुम तो रस्सी के जगह सांप पकड़े छोड़ दो तो कहेंगे कि नहीं मैं तो उसको पकड़ ही रहूंगा वो मनुष्य की बुद्धि हुई ना लेकिन उस वक्त अगर कोई उसके सामने जोत दिखा दे तो देखे कि सांप है तो उसको अपने आप ही छोड़ दे इसलिए आज का हमारा जो सहयोग है उसमें आपकी पहले कुंडलिनी हम जगा देते हैं चाहे आप कैसे भी हो कुछ भी आपके तरीके हो कोई भी आप गलत रास्ते पे हो कुछ भी कर उसके जगने के बाद फिर आप अपने ही आप ठीक हो जाते कुछ कहने की माँ को जरूरत नहीं क्योंकि आप खुद ही देखते हैं कि ये कैसी चीज है अब शराब ही की बात देखिए कि विलायत में तो आप जानते हैं कि लोग हर रोज सुबह शाम शराब बहुत ही शराब और उनका जीवन भी बड़ा ही अधर्मी है हम लोग उनसे बहुत ऊंचे किस्म के लोग हैं हमारे अंदर माँ बहन है हम बहुत धर्म समझते शराब और पीने लग गए थोड़ी बहुत वो दूसरी बात है बाकी हम लोगों में बहुत उन लोगों को तक जब उनको जागृति हो जाती है तो वो दूसरे ही दिन सब छोड़ छाड़ के खड़े हो जाते कुछ मैं उनसे कहती नहीं मैंने शुरू से कभी ऐसा रवैया ही नहीं रखा कि कहो कि शराब मत पियो जुआ मत खेलो नहीं तो आधे लोग ऐसे उठ के चले जाए वहां आधे से ज्यादा ही यहाँ तो कम अज कम ये हाल नहीं होगा इसलिए मैं कहती कुछ नहीं जैसे भी हो बैठे रहो तुम्हें जागृति मुझे बस देने दो जागृति देने से उनका अहंकार भी टूटता है और उनके अंदर जो आते बैठी हुई हैं वो भी टूट जाते अपने आप वो आते छूट जाने से वो समर्थ हो जाते असल में बहुत से लोग मन से तो सोचते हैं खराब काम है लेकिन उसे छोड़ नहीं उसकी वजह यह है कि कोई आदत पड़ गई तो एक माँ की दृष्टि यह है कि जब बच्चे को आदत पड़ गई तो उसको किस तरह से छोड़ा उसको डांटने से खटकारने से मना करने से तो छूटेगा नहीं तो किस तरह से एक माँ सोचती कि चलो इसके अंदर एक दीप क्यों ना जला इसके अंदर कर दीप जल गया तो उस दीप में ये स्वयं ही देख लेगा कि जो मैं ये कार्य करता रहा हूं ये मेरे लिए इतना हानिकारक है और वो समर्थ हो जाए कि इस हानिकारक चीज को वो छोड़ दे तो फिर कोई सवाल ही नहीं उसको कुछ कहने की जरूरत नहीं उससे कोई झगड़ा बोल लेने की जरूरत नहीं कहते ही साथ वो चीज अपने आप ही छूट ऐसी ही चीज होना चाहिए आज हम उस कगार पर पहुंचे हैं अगर हमें आत्मबोध नहीं हुआ हमने अगर अपने आत्मा को नहीं जाना तो हमारा सबका सर्वनाश हो सकता ये बात बिल्कुल सही है क्योंकि कल जो आप पूरी चरम सीमा में पहुंच गए कुछ तो बीमारी से होगा बहुत से लोग ऐसे ऐसे बीमारियों में फंस जाएंगे कि उससे बच नहीं पाएंगे बहुत विध्वंसक चीजों से हो सकता है न जाने कितनी चीजें हमने अपने को नष्ट करने की जोड़ हम लोग सोचते हैं प्रदेश में लोगों के पास पैसा बहुत ज्यादा है तो बड़े सुखी जीव होंगे बिल्कुल भी सुखी नहीं आपसे बहुत दुखी जीव आपसे बहुत ज्यादा दुखी है क्योंकि उनके यहाँ न कोई समाज है न कोई माँ है न कोई भाई है न कोई बहन है आप सोचिए कि आपके पास बहुत सारा धन दे दें और आपसे कहे की आप अकेले कहीं लटके रहिए तो आप क्या सुखी रहे ऐसी उनकी हालत इतना पैसा होने पर भी वो सब लोग कोशिश ये करते हैं कि हम आत्महत्या कैसी करें आपको आश्चर्य हो उनके बच्चे यही सोचते रहते हैं कि हम कैसी आत्महत्या तो ये बात हम जो समझते हैं कि पैसा होने से सब हो जाएगा सो बात लेकिन पैसा भी होना चाहिए उसके लिए भी कुंडलिनी का जागरण ठीक है क्योंकि अपने अंदर देवी जो लक्ष्मी जी है वो भी बस जब हमारी कुंडलिनी नाभि पर आ जाती जब हमारी लक्ष्मी की कुंडलिनी खुल जाती है तो हमारे अंदर वो जागृति आ जाती है जिससे लक्ष्मी जी का स्वरूप हमारे अंदर प्रकट हो जाता है अब जिन्होंने सोच के लक्ष्मी जी बनाई वो भी बहुत सोच समझ के बनाई कि लक्ष्मी जी जो होती है जो लक्ष्मी पति होता है वो एक मां स्वरूप होता है आजकल तो जिसके पास पैसा आ जाता है वो तो राक्षस स्वरूप हो जाता इसका मतलब पैसा पाना लक्ष्मी पति होना नहीं दूसरे उनके एक हाथ में दान है एक हाथ में आश्रय 
एक हाथ से वो देती है दूसरे हाथ से लोगों को आश्रय देना चाहिए दूसरे जो दो हाथ है उसके अंदर कमल के गुलाबी फूल है माने उनका रहन सहन उनकी शक्ल सूरत ऐसी होनी चाहिए जैसे कि कमल का पुष्प हो और उनके अंदर वैसी विचारधारा होनी चाहिए वैसा ही स्वागत होना चाहिए जैसा एक कमल कांटो वाले भवरे को भी अपने यहाँ सोने की व्यवस्था करता है कोई भी मेहमान उसके घर में आए उसमें कितने भी कांटे हो तो भी उसकी आवभगत करे उसको आराम दे वही लक्ष्मीपति है वो बिचारी इतनी सीधी सरल है कि एक कमल ही पे खड़ी है उसको कोई और चीज की जरूरत नहीं सारे तरफ कीचड़ फैला है उसी में एक कमल के ऊपर में खड़ी हुई लक्ष्मी जी जिनको हम इतना मानते हैं ऐसी देवी हमारे अंदर जागृत हो जाती है और उसके ये सारे लक्षण हमारे अंदर दिखाई देते हैं श्री कृष्ण ने साफ साफ कहा था कि जब योग होगा तब मैं तुम्हारा क्षेत्र बनूंगा पहले योग को साधू लोग बड़ा बड़ा लेक्चर देंगे जिसके किसी के समझ में भी नहीं आएगा सब सोचेंगे पता नहीं क्या बक रहे हैं लेकिन सही बात यह है कि पहले योग को प्राप्त करें जो जिसने योग को प्राप्त कर लिया वो समाधान में आ जाता है उसके सारे प्रश्न अपने आप मिट जाते हैं कुंडलिनी शक्ति जो हमारे अंदर है ये हमारी शुद्ध इच्छा है बाकी जितनी हमारे अंदर इच्छा है जैसे कोई आएगी कहे माँ मेरा बेटा नहीं चलो भाई तुम्हारा बेटा हो बेटा हो उसके बाद कहेगी कि माँ बेटा तो हो गया अब मुझे नाती चाहिए वो भी हो गया अब मुझे घर चाहिए घर के बाद वो चाहिए उसके बाद वो चाहिए उसका कोई अंत ही नहीं रहता इसके अंदर जो हमारे अंदर जो इच्छाएं हैं वो इच्छाएं शुद्ध नहीं शुद्ध इच्छा एकमात्र है वो ये है कि हमें परमात्मा से एकाकार होने की एक किसी तरह से ये एक युक्ति जुट जाए किसी तरह से ये काम बन जाए कि हम ये परमात्मा की जो चारों तरफ फैली हुई शक्ति है जिससे सारा जीवन कार्य होता है उससे हम एकाकार हो जाए यही हमारी शुद्ध इच्छा है और ये शुद्ध इच्छा की शक्ति ही कुंडलिनी है और जो आदि शक्ति जो कि परमात्मा की इच्छा है जो परमात्मा की इच्छा है उसी का ये प्रतिबिंब है वही हमारे अंदर छाया है हमारे हृदय में जो आत्मा है वो परमात्मा की छाया और जो हमारी कुंडलिनी त्रिकोणाकार अस्थि में है वो परमात्मा की इच्छा की उसकी जो इच्छा जो आदि शक्ति है उसकी छाया प्रति छाया इसको अगर आप समझ गए तो फिर आपको समझ में आ जाएगा कि हम धर्म के नाम में भी कितने भटकाव में घूम रहे वही आदि शक्ति जो है वही हमारी माँ है हम सबकी अलग अलग माँ है हमारे अंदर बस और ये माँ सबको ही वो प्रदान देती है जो कि कोई भी माँ नहीं दे सकती क्योंकि ये आदि शक्ति जो है पावन मूर्ति परमात्मा की शक्ति है जो हमारे अंदर वो गुण दे देती है जो परमात्मा को प्रसन्न रखे और हमारे अंदर वो सामर्थ्य दे देती है वो शक्ति दे देती है जो परमात्मा के सामर्थ्य रखे जिससे कि अब कोई कहता है कि माँ मुझे ये प्रश्न अच्छा हमने कहा तुम घर जाओ ठीक हो जाए घर जाते ही देखता है कि प्रश्न तो ठीक हो गया माँ ने क्या चमत्कार कर दिया कुछ चमत्कार मैंने किया कोई बात मैंने की क्या हुआ तो आपकी कुंडलिनी मैंने जागरण कर दिया कुंडलिनी जो है वो किसी भी कारण और परिणाम से परिचित है कोई है किसी से पूछा भाई तुमको क्या परेशानी हमारे पास पैसा नहीं इसलिए आप परेशान यही ना कारण यह है कि पैसा नहीं है और इसलिए आप परेशान है लेकिन समझ लो आप कारण से परे ही चले जाए तो कारण भी खत्म हो गया और उसका परिणाम यही चीज होती है जब हमें शारीरिक आदि व्याधि रहती है जब हमारे अंदर शारीरिक आदि व्याधि रहती है तो हम सोचते हैं कि इसलिए हमें जुकाम हो गया क्योंकि तो हम सर्दी में गए अच्छा लेकिन ऐसी भी कोई दशा होगी कि जहां जुकाम ही नहीं होता हमें इसलिए कैंसर हो गया क्योंकि तो हमने ये गलत काम या हमें इसलिए ये बीमारी हो गई क्योंकि तो हमने ये बदपरेजी कर लेकिन कोई ऐसा भी स्थान होगा जहां ये चीज होती ही नहीं जहां आप गलती ही नहीं कर सकते ये जहां ये कारण ही नहीं बसते इसको मेडिकल साइंस में पैरासिंपथेटिक नर्वस सिस्टम कहते हैं 
लेकिन डॉक्टर लोग इसको समझने के लिए पहले सहयोग को समझ लें तब उसको समझ पाए लेकिन आप लोग इसको बहुत आसानी से समझ सकते हैं जिसे लोग चमत्कार कहते हैं कोई चमत्कार नहीं इसमें कोई चमत्कार हम तो रोज के चमत्कार को चमत्कार नहीं समझते बताइए कि एक फूल से फल बनता है तो हम क्या बना सकते नहीं बना सकते और ऐसे करोड़ों हजारों हम बनते देखते हैं हमको कोई भी चमत्कार नहीं एक पहाड़ी का बच्चा पहाड़ी होता है एक देसी का बच्चा देसी होता है शक्ल सूरत वैसी बनी रहती कौन बना ये सोचिए इसका चयन कौन करता है ये किस तरह से बारीक से बारीक चीजें हजारों करोड़ों ऐसी चीजें संसार में होती है वो जो शक्ति ये कार्य करती जब वो हमारे अंदर बहने लग जाए तो फिर क्या हम तो समर्थ हो जाए हम शक्तिवान हो जाए that was a a small excerpt of shrimati ji's talk jo unhone dal lake mein diya tha 1985 mein uh, talk kafi lamba hai isliye humne thoda sa uska uske bare mein suna just just to add um for those people not from dharmshala or nadi village mcleod ganj and not indian um dal lake is uh lower down from your village nadi village where yes the cottages and yes. uh shishala putri's shmatji's um mandia at the cottage um which is actually lower down than yogi mahajan's um family yes. estate Yeah. Uh, Yogi Mahajan was the gentleman in the the young gentleman with the with the beard. Uh much in young video. in the video there. Uh-huh. Um and lower down from Nadi village is Dal Lake. And yes. um, you could see the typical majestic uh Doada trees. Deodar. Deodar <laughs> trees. Oh, my pronunciation is bad. Around the banks of the lake. and yeah. i was just going to um and then further down is darmsala itself yeah. and then you've got the shivalik hills which you can't you could yeah they kind of the himalayan foothills but the shivaliks and then it goes into the gangetic plain much further yeah. south um but coming back to uh dar lake um there's a uh, shiva temple mandir there which i'm going to ask you to tell me about and in relation to um shimati ji mandir as adi shakti at nadi bus stop nadi village a little bit further up yes. where i was saying earlier that there uh it it was reported that sage durvasa durvasa rishi oh, yeah. Uh-huh. Uh, meditated to um cool his anger down i mean i would imagine uh possibly thousands of years yes. ago <laughs> um he he i think he came up from further south in the country and apparently he came there to that spot oh. in nadi village to meditate to to cool himself down he was prone to uh oh strap ho jaldi de dete the na durvasa yes, yes, yes. to yes, durvasa yes. rishi waha isliye gaye mere ki jisse unka um gussa shant ho kyunki like yeah like he used to curse people the, the curse was oh, at the no. tip of his tongue anything smallest of uh, things which would upset him he would just curse thoda ah. batayenge um, ramesh bhai sir uh, sir speak ke bare mein aur jo well uh, i have heard from you know our assessors and i mean they used to say that uh, durvasa rishi came here in dal lake uh, for meditation but uh, and and uh, maybe because of him Uh, i don't know exactly but you know uh, because of him uh, uh, i mean this shiva temple is uh, 
and yeah. then after, after that people build this shiva temple here yeah. so especially we got these are uh, here we got these are we got this belong to you know in our religion in hindu religion there is a sham mat vaishnav mat so yeah. got these are associated with uh, lord shiva oh yes but these are the devotees of lord shiva Achha. yes so so, so 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 this temple is uh, is built uh, here and but it is a it is a there is a story behind it that we see durvasa came here for meditation and then after uh, maybe he has asked people uh, to build a temple or something this is this is the temple is, is it this is. durvasa rishi the same rishi who cursed shakuntala because she was lost in the thoughts of her um of her husband and so he he cursed her and that's why he yeah. recognized uh, i can't remember the name also. of this yeah and he has uh, there there are a few incident he appears in in, in mahabharat also in yeah. the epic of mahabharat so when during uh, the pandavas were in in exile so yeah. he he also visits them mm -hmm. and the same thing i mean they were very afraid that he'll he'll curse them also <laughs> yeah yeah so, yeah he is not for this was wrong for his curse is his this kind yeah. of behavior uh -huh. so probably he has come here to cool down cool down uh, yeah <clears throat> temper by yeah. doing this very uh -huh. yeah yes machi has um has commented on this um the ability of these uh, some of these old rishis saints uh, rishis sages of india uh -huh. through performing great penance and tapas to please um uh shri shiva god almighty or or any other uh, deity uh then they attain these powers yeah. to uh destroy um um if if their third eye is open uh Shishiva's they can they eye, yeah. Shishiva's third eye is open in them they can destroy anything they want and dis and and reduce it to a pile of ashes and, uh -huh. and it could be that yeah he, he had to come up and cool down well apparently other than dal lake <clears throat> i'm pretty sure it was shimachi commented that he he sat yeah in this particular place near uh -huh. the bus stop general bus stop okay. Uh -huh. And he sat there, and as such, uh, I don't know if Shimachi instructed it, but they constructed yes. a, a temple to Shimachi there as well, yes. which Shia is the Shia 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 which is which is there, yeah. and and actually, um, um, Sajogis, whether Indians or foreigners, yes. they they hold little public programs to yeah. give self realization yeah. to anyone. Who visits the Mandir? Um, fascinating. Now that um, I understand that you couldn't hear the Bajan singing yeah. in that video yes. that we showed you, but do you do you recognize any of the faces there? Yeah, the I can I can recognize few of few of the people, and uh, uh, I can recognize the most of the faces, but you know they were the elder ones and yeah. since i was so mm. yeah i i remember i can i can recognize especially the one person who is alongside along with the uh, yogi mahajan ji bearing a, a blue shirt or blue jacket yeah. I don't think. Blue jumper. Uh, that, that that fellow was i think he was the he was a retired colonel uh in dal lake wow. he's no more now but yeah i can wow. recognize him that fellow yeah you know on those doors those these were the prominent people in in this yeah. area so uh, well, anything it, special happens they they are, they, yes, they are, they are there. the forefront yeah it, yes. i mean is it, uh, it's i'd imagine it was quite possible that some of your family were there yeah, yes, possibly yes, your yes, mum and dad yes. i i don't know or aunts yes. and uncles it's possible yeah. yeah possibly my uncle my neighbors yes yeah. Mm. Yeah, you know it's a very small I'm, community there yeah i mean as you know this is our place so probably yes. Uh, yeah, of course, our people would be there. So, yeah. most of the yeah, I I am um, I I I mean, of course, we we've I've visited we we've, we've been to Dal Lake many occasions, and um, uh -huh. uh, it, it, 
just seeing the the doodah trees there yeah. and and i just the the symmetry of the trees the way oh, they're yeah. they're growing upwards and it brings back memories of being there um in Dharamsala and nadi village and um uh, just um now just to um um just to inform people who've never been there uh it is actually quite uh it's quite wild isn't it there are dangerous oh, gosh, animals yes. in, in <laughs> the jungle there aren't yeah. there yes. um bears leopards um the bears and leopards basically. yeah um and i i remember uh but at the school of course they erected a sort of a six seven foot high perimeter fence around the campus uh -huh. of the school and yeah. uh I remember seeing a uh, hair from a bear on uh -huh. the top of the fence where the bear had climbed up the fence and dropped over yeah. into the school campus yeah. to scurry off and raid yeah. the bins at the back of the school kitchen, uh -huh. particularly yeah. if there was chicken on the menu. Well, the children the had, seen, uh, they um, had seen the, yeah, the they, children and, used to see from their dorm, some of them, when the bear would come to yeah. leave the bins for chicken bones and uh, yeah. food yes. in the winter when it was very cold. And um, of course, but yeah. of course, when you in in your lifetime in the village and um there were no perimeter fences, um, you know, no. and um it, 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 it it's um it what what I think what I was found very impressed by the Gadi people. Uh, who I understand as shepherds yes. traditionally, uh, people that moved up from the Punjab area, uh, yeah. possibly to escape the Mughal um, raids and invasions of, of yes. early days. The Gadi people um, have um, a lot of respect for the wild animals, obviously, because yes. they don't get attacked. Um, uh, and I remember because I took my dogs there with us from England, uh -huh. I was thinking a very sort of bombastic English Englishman's way. I was going to walk my dogs in the jungle. And of course, <laughs> the dear lady, Surindra uh, G, who was our, um, who helped us keep housekeeper at the school. Uh -huh. I said yeah. to Surindra one morning, I said, Surindra, let's, let's take us out into the jungle and we can explore <laughs> and she said in in Gadi uh language which i didn't actually understand she Schmidt translated she said why do you want to go to the jungle it's for <laughs> dangerous animals i only <laughs> go there to cut firewood and and look after my cow otherwise i don't go in the jungle and it, it reminded <laughs> me of how what a wild yeah. place it was up there and thinking about it i think there was a comment from shimataji that when <laughs> Or something when she approached Dharamsala, she might have commented to the driver or the yogis in the vehicle that I'm I'm something like I'm going back, I'm going back home, as if herself, as um dare I say, um an incarnation of, of Sri Shaila Putri, the daughter of the Himalayas, yeah. was going back to her her birthplace um and her father king Hamavat, himavat of of the himalayas i am I'm, I'm i'm not sure how often shmatiji visited the himalayas arguably possibly only that one occasion no, but she might have done in other um, occasions which we don't know it was um but it's um as sahaj yogis that was been very yeah, very prominent yeah it's very um okay. it's very special to uh have that link with your good self and your family yeah and other villagers of nadi that i know um and the, and the connection with shimataji shishila Puchi, the himalayas uh the school that she founded it's a very special place and i would encourage i mean it's already on the tourist map of india um oh. there are a lot of people from delhi go there from the punjab mainly to escape the heat of the hot season, but but also to see the snow on the mountains and hopefully to visit 
Dal Lake and and Shimatiji's Mandir and Nadi village, and mm-hmm. and um, uh, it, which is very good for them spiritually, um, as well as for the economy of Nadi village. And I'd, I'd, it's so nice to be part of having lived there and experienced that, and the hospitality of the Nadi villagers. Um, I, I think I've spoken enough about the place and the people. When we um when 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 we uh went to um work in Shimataji's school at uh, ISPS and before that when our children went there um uh, my parents papa and mummy they were really very grateful to Shimataji and and I remember them saying papa especially that you guys have done punyas a lot of punyas in your past lives to be able to spend that time uh-huh. in such a holy place and Papa had worked in uh, as as part of Geological Survey of India. He'd worked in 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 very um, holy places like Kedarnath, Badrinath. Uh-huh. You know, people wait lifetimes, but he it was his on on his project. So, you know, for them to tell us, and he said, "You must meditate as much as you can because it's uh-huh. a very special opportunity." And uh, I mean, of course, we we did what we could but you know we, it wasn't all that easy when we were there to just only meditate <laughs> like the the yogis and the rishis and munis uh, but now living here in the west i mean it's immense the beauty of the land the vibrations the special place it is and how all of you are the rich culture and the amazing what shimataji was saying in that talk about Every word she has said I is just so true. I, I couldn't mm. say it any better about how the culture is so beautiful. There is respect and regard for elders, the family. <coughs> it's not just about wealth. It is, it's about our inherent spiritual wealth that, that you have there. And uh, it's just amazing, super amazing. Um. So thank you so much yeah. for you know thank for you. for joining us this this morning <laughs> for us but afternoon for you uh, <laughs> and it's it's really our gratitude to Shimataji for bringing us all together yeah. because if it wasn't for Shimataji Ramesh Pai we wouldn't know each other yes yeah, so we course. wouldn't go to ISPS our children wouldn't <laughs> study there and how did you meet Ramesh Pai that's just um, a very that's interesting a story. Uncle. I can't. You know, I mean, I can't remember how. Oh, yeah, I, I can remember. remember. I remember. I think it was because uh, Didi and I that. were looking. But I might have been looking. I think it was because we were rather hoping to, um, to one day live there, in Nadi, with you, and we were looking for some land. No, no you were at that shop. Wasn't... You met at that shop. How do yeah, I? You know, okay, I want to shop, yeah. Yes. I think I, yeah, I think I was looking for a padlock or something. Yeah, something. Yeah, yeah. And, and yeah. in the village hardware store. Yes. Um, yes. And, and and meanwhile, I was coming from my school, and you were there. Uh, in my that's my uncle's shop actually, and yeah, you were looking for so, something. Yeah. yeah. So, you know the, that old man he's no more, but yeah. yeah, you were there in that shop, and then uh, uh, you were trying to. I would buy something. So, the, uh, and you, you were on the road, about... weren't you? Uh, because I was busy some, with something, and he yeah. he thinks he knows English. He knows a scant English. Yeah. So, so both Hindi, of them were not the interpreter that time, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I was there right on the. Yes. Yeah. 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 I I I think what I enjoyed about um, I enjoyed wearing the Himacheli topi, the tradition. Uh, yes, yes, yes. yes. The traditional woolen jacket, yes, 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 the yes. trousers, the shoes. I liked yeah. um, the traditional. I liked, so uh, yeah, yeah, I liked that whole. Um, nutty so, so when you are planning to come to India now? Well, <laughs> when um, Shri brings us. <laughs> yeah, well, we should. We must. We must visit <laughs> because I. I must. Uh, we must visit Shishmita's mother in Lucknow. Okay, this um, is all recording. So, and we'll then we'll come up to visit you for sure. Until then. Uh, thank you care. so much for recording uh, and joining us, Ramesh Pai. Thank you a lot. Uh, really, really grateful. And I will 
stop recording now. Thank you so much. Okay, bye. <laughs> Thank you. No, 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 don't go. Stay there.